<laughs> We're going to talk to you about the annual Perseids meteor shower. It is peaking, and if you're lucky, you may see some shooting stars as many as 90 every hour. Wow, Todd. So let's talk about our chances of seeing them tonight. Yeah, may have another decent chance to see those tonight. Yeah, and we're going to show that graphic in a moment. Looking north northeast. Now you got to step a little late or get up early. Midnight to no dawn. That's the best time to see those. So kind of peaked last night, early this morning. Let's uh, go ahead and talk about uh, another thing, another factor. Look at this. This is pretty spectacular. If you remember back in May, we saw Northern Lights, Robin and John. Somebody yeah. caught these early this morning That's as well. That's right, Stacy Sands. She told us she was in her pool in halls looking at the meteor shower when she noticed the sky was pink. Wow. She grabbed her phone, took these pictures. She said she noticed around 2 o'clock this morning. Thank you for capturing those and sharing them with us. Stunning showing wow. the sky there, Todd. Yeah, much further south than expected geomagnetic storm at level G4 is uh, in place tonight. So you may even be able to see a little bit of hit of northern lights, little double bonus. How about that? So let's talk about the things in the sky. Yeah, the Perseid meteor shower again. It peaked last night and early this morning, but here's a look at our graphic again, looking to the north northeast, may be able to see that again. Again, the peak time is midnight to sunrise as many as 90 plus per hour, although that peak really was early this morning. But nonetheless, again, if you don't mind staying up a little later, getting up early, may be able to see that and again, Last night, this morning, again, that magnetic storm that really flared up, no pun intended, but that was early this morning. May be able to see a little bit of that as well. While we're talking about things in the sky, one week from today, coming up uh, next Monday, August 19th, we've got a full super moon, a sturgeon moon. And again, there's the look at the moonrise and set times. Also has some different names to go along with that. But uh, yeah, we're talking about a full super moon one week from today.